Hi guys, uh, I am Varun Ayer from Goto University. I am an admission consultant. So guys, in this video we are going to talk about study medicine in the UK, and you heard me right, which is also known as MBBS in India. Uh, if you are one of the student, you know, who are not able to get the admission in India, or maybe if you are confused uh, that you know which college to apply outside India, which can change your future, which can become, you know, which can help you to become a global doctor then my answer to you is UK yes UK is the best place to go for the medicine program and in this video we are going to highlight and cover few impo important information uh, which is the requirements that how you can apply uh, we will talk about the bodies official bodies which is like NHS which is National Healthcare Service of UK we will talk about GMC which is General Medical Council of UK and uh, we will talk about some universities who offer medical programs in the UK. We will also talk about that how you can plan your journey if you, are, if you want to become a doctor in the UK and what are the benefits you can get. Uh, just to let you know guys that if you go to UK, if you're planning to become a global doctor, uh, if you study medicine in the UK, you could also become a PG specialized doctor in UK at no cost. So when we say like how you can become a doctor in UK, so guys, there are few things which you need to know. First is that UK is one of the place where you can apply for your medicine right after your high school, which means that most of the countries, most of the English speaking countries, for example, Canada, for example, USA, you cannot apply right after your high school for the undergraduate medicine. You have to go for the first degree program, which is also known as pre-med. So let's take an example here. If you finish your 12th grade and if you want to study medicine, which also we say as MBBS in India, which is known as MBBS in India. And if you want to go for that program in USA or Canada. So after your 12 years of schooling, you will first go for first degree program, which is four years of undergraduate degree, which is in the science stream, which could be biomedical science, biotechnology, chemistry, and uh, you know, uh, etc. And once you finish your undergraduate degree of four years, then you have to appear for the exam called MCAT, which is a medical uh, common aptitude test. And after that, you will be able to enter in the uh, grad medical school, right? Which will take another four years. So just to complete your MBBS in the countries like USA or Canada, it might take a decade or maybe more than that. And in UK, you have a benefit of going for a direct undergraduate medicine right after your schooling. So there is no, require, there is no requirement for the first degree, right? So this is the benefit. Uh, another thing is that you could finish your program of medicine in the five years. So you will finish your medicine of five years in undergraduate degree. And after that, you will be given an opportunity to do two years of internship. So in India, we call it an internship, but in UK, it is known as a doctor foundation year one and doctor foundation year two. And the best part is that that foundation year one and foundation year two internship, it is paid, which means not only you get to learn, but you also get to earn. So once you finish your five years of undergrad, you do your two years of internship and you learn in the different departments. You could earn stipend up to £3,000 a month, which is great and you can cover your expenses. And not only that, after completing your two years of internship, you can actually identify that which PG specialization you want to become. For example, if you want to become a gynecologist, you want to become an obstetrician, you want to become a pediatrician, and all you can do in UK at no cost, right? Which is, so there is no fees to, you know, do your PG specialization in UK. Although there are some other costs, which, which is like, you know, examination fees, or maybe you might, uh, you know, take the tutoring to prepare for your PG specialization. However, there is no fees. So, which means this is the best. So guys, GMC is one of the organization, which is uh, General Medical of Council of UK. So we can understand of GMC uh, by thinking of like MCI in India, which is Medical Council of India. So uh, General Medical Council of UK, their job is to maintain the ethical practice and to maintain the professional standards uh, in UK uh, so that, you know, the quality of healthcare uh, education system is delivered. Uh, and it is also a body wherein, uh, you know, the medical uh, representatives and medical professionals, they uh, register for the license. I hope you know that once you finish your medicine program, MBBS, 
be it India or anywhere, uh, just completing your education is not enough. Once you complete your medicine program, after that, you need to also register for the license. Because until you don't register for the license, you cannot practice as a doctor. And uh, until you don't have a license, you are not a doctor. So your qualification is mere a piece of paper. So I would say that there are uh, many reasons, but the top reasons to study medicine in UK are uh, one thing, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that you can study medicine in UK right after your high school. So you don't need any first degree or you don't need any other bachelor's degree in order to finish your medicine. Right after your 12 years of schooling, you can go for the medicine program and you can finish that in five years. Uh, to study medicine in UK, I would also say that you need to have a minimum age of 18 years. And uh, another benefit, if I say, is that after completing your five years of medicine in UK, you get two years of internship, which is paid, uh, leading to a PG specialization at no cost. And also the medicine program of UK, it is worldwide known. It is globally accredited. It is recognized by the different bodies like Medical Council of India, uh, California State Board, Canadian Medical Board, uh, European Medical Board. So you can say that after completing your medicine in UK, you don't just become a British doctor, but you become a global doctor in UK. You need to, you need to know uh, some things which is very important that to apply for MBBS program in UK, you need to apply one year before. So for example, take a scenario that if you want to go for a session which starts in September 2022 next year. So actually the deadline to apply for that university is 15th of October 2021, which is one year before. So my suggestion to the students are that if you're looking to apply for medicine in UK, in that case, you should prepare at a very early stage. I suggest that students who are in their 10th grade, they should start their preparation because it's, it's a process of one and a half years. And there are requirements wherein you have to appear for the exams like ILTS, for UCAT or BMAT. You have to work on your profile. Uh, there are multi mini interviews. So there are certain things, uh, you know, certain things which you need to work upon to complete your application and to have a strong profile and to get selected to go to your dream medical school in UK. And uh, I would say that in case if you have many more and any more questions, if you want to get the uh, details uh, you know about applying to the UK medical schools uh, you know more details about the requirements uh, what is the process whether you are eligible or not then I suggest that you can get in touch with our admission experts we have been helping students from long for more than a decade and we have had students going to the medical schools like Queen Belfast then King's College London then University of Manchester uh, Newcastle universities so there are around 40 medical schools in UK uh, who offers medicine program and uh, we can help you to guide you with your uh, you know roadmap we can help you uh, you know right from the uh, you know test preparation to the preparing the application and to apply for the student visas working on your profile building so our experts can very well help you thank you so much